My name is Jason and welcome to TC Youth, especially if you're new. Please stick around for these few announcements so you know how to get plugged in. Our first announcement is we have online devotionals happening out throughout the week. Online devotionals are a way we can study the Bible, hang out with our friends, and just update on what's been going on in our lives. If you don't know what tribe you're in, please contact our leaders or in the Zoom chat down below. Next up, we have our Friday Fuel happening at 8 p.m. every week. Over there, we do Q&As, Instagram Lives, game nights, movie nights, and other fun stuff. So make sure you join that every week. This announcement is a very special one. We're gonna have our costume party movie night this upcoming Friday. And the fun part is, it's gonna be held physically here at the collective at Citibank. So join us Friday night, October 29th at 4 p.m. But don't worry, we'll be following the safety protocol and sanitizing the entire area beforehand. We're doing everything we can to make this party as safe and as fun as possible. So if you guys are interested, contact your tribe leaders to let them know you're coming. See you there. And lastly, we have these TCU services happening every week, same time, same Zoom. So make sure you come every week. We'll see you there. Hello guys, happy Sunday. It's been a long time since the last time I'm here, but now I'm back. Well, for those who don't know, my name is Karen and I'm one of the leaders here in TC Youth. And if you're new, I hope you're having a great time with the community as we continue on our series, Counterfeit. Fabi did a really great job introducing the series last week as it's also her first time preaching in TC Youth. So shout out to you, Fabi. So to start off our sermon today, like usual, I'm going to start with a story about me that might be relatable to some or most of you. I am a Christian since I was born. My parents and my whole family are fully devoted Christians. I feel like for 75% of my life, the whole Christianity thing that I've been doing are simply just tradition because I was following what my family taught me. All the prayers are the exact same words per words every night and day. Um, going to church is just another weekly activities. And being in Sunday school is just like a part of me, like something that I need to do on Sundays. 
I never fully understand the reason behind doing all that other than my parents told me to do so. Then, when I was a teenager, I moved to a cooler church. Everyone danced and jumped while they're singing praises and they raised their hands while worshiping. And I just followed them because it looks cool, right? And then listening to their faith journey seems like it's also my faith journey. I was copying what they did, what they think, what they feel about God and about Christianity. And I'm just trying to look like any other Christians. I'm just like, well, I'm Christian, so this is what I do. Mm, at that time, I don't have any relationship with God and I never actually feel there's anything personal between me and God. But the worst part is, I don't see anything wrong with that. I was just following the traditions, but I never actually do anything to be close to God. Not being biased, but my perspective on God and Christianity changed ever since I came to this church. I finally get to realize that there's no good thing as being the other Christian lady. My faith back then was just a copy of someone, someone else because I never tried to understand more about Christianity, especially about the personal relationship that you need to have with God. The most important thing is that I finally realized that I have people around me who can help me to shape my faith, people that can journey with me through it all, people who taught me to become better spiritually and emotionally in Christ. I realized that being in a healthy community is the most important thing when we're talking about growing our faith. I learned so much by being around the leaders in TC Youth and I joined a CG that helped me so much. I see how people's faith journey are different and in every story, it's not just God that they're talking about. It's also, a, uh, they're also talking about the people around them who help them strengthen their faith. Their stories taught me that no one should copy a faith of someone else our relationship with God shouldn't be like a one size fit all kind of thing. We, we need to have a personal one-on-one -on -one relationship that most likely to be different than other people and that's totally okay. Maybe you've experienced this too. Maybe your journey has involved someone who invited you to church, who invited you to TC Youth, to Friday Fuels. Maybe it was someone who helped change the way you think about God. This can be someone who impacted you with one conversation or it can be series of conversations. Maybe it was someone who you watch and observed every day or maybe every week. Maybe one of those relationships brought you here right now. Well, to put simply, the people around us affects our faith. That's true in both positive and negative way. Just like the right people can move our faith to the right direction, the wrong people can move our faith to the wrong direction too. Just like th what the Bible said in Proverbs 13 verse 20, walk with the wise and become wise for a companion of fools suffers harm. The Bible here is to remind us that the people you choose to spend time will affect your life. Hang out with the wise, you'll become smarter and do life better. Hang out with the fools and you get hurt. This is why small groups or tribes are such a big deal. Every time we meet, we provide an opportunity for us, the teens and also the leaders to sharpen each other, to be real with one another. We can challenge each other and grow together as a community. And trust me guys, you need this. You need a healthy community that can help you to grow your faith. There will come a point in life when it gets difficult or confusing. There will be a time where your faith feels weak or and counterfeit. Whether it's a big decision or a pain, painful mess, you will want to know that someone is just a text message away. And that's your tribe leaders, maybe your tribe members, your friends. That's why one of the best thing that you can do in life and your faith is simply to be real in small groups. 
I'm not just talking about physically showing up in the Zoom every week. Well, maybe you need to show up mentally. Take a break from your phone and everything that's in there to be mentally there in your small groups. Maybe you need to also start showing up in other activities. For example, like Friday Fuse, Midweek Devos, or even join a physical hangout if there's one. Well, maybe some of you have been holding it back because you don't know anyone that well and it makes you feel uncomfortable. But if you want your faith to grow, take a step and put yourself out there. Maybe you need some one-on-one time. You're dealing with some things that are difficult to figure out alone. Or maybe you want to take your faith to the next level and you've met someone older who seem that Uh, who seem like they could help. Maybe it's your tribe leaders. Don't be afraid to start a conversation with your tribe leaders um, and ask for help. No matter how busy life gets, we'll make time for you. The leaders will will definitely make time for you um, with whatever you're going through, with whatever questions that you have about, about God or maybe about other things outside church. Um, They can help you with that. Maybe you know someone who could really use some encouragement or truth spoken to them. You know it would be great if you encourage them, but you feel like you aren't qualified for the job. Maybe your next step is to approach that person, hang out with them, and allow allow God to use you. This isn't just about helping you. Just like you need a place to be real and honest, it's possible that someone needs a faith-building conversation with you in their life. When you show up each week, not only you get that kind of friendship, but you also become that kind of friend for someone else. Maybe it's time that you pray and ask God to open your eyes to show how you can build faith in someone else. And as we head out, don't miss this. God wants to be close to you, to feel real to you, to be personal with you. That's why God hasn't made it complicated. Instead, God put the people around you to help you grow and develop a personal, authentic faith of your own. It's not about us copying their faith. It's about their faith encouraging our faith to grow more. Take a step, make other people a priority in your faith journey as real faith grows with other people. So let's let's pray with me. Dear God, thank you so much for the time that you gave us today um, to listen to your words. And I also want to pray for each and every teens um, who are watching this. I pray that you will give them the encouragement that they need to be real and honest with one another in their tribes and to their leaders. And also I pray that um, in whatever circumstances that they are facing right now, uh, I hope that I pray that you will remind them that you're always going to be with them and they have a community who fully Um, supports them, loves them, and cares for them in everything that they do, Lord. Um, I also want to pray for the tribes that we're going to have. I hope that the Holy Spirit will be with um, us so that we can be vulnerable and open with anything that we're facing, any struggles that are bothering us so that we can grow together um, in you, Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Thank you so much for joining our service this week and click the link in the description box down below to join our tribes. See you next week.